Welcome back everyone. It has been a very warm and windy day across the valley and especially so for the lower valley and that's where that wind advisory continues showing in the pink until 6 o'clock this evening. Wilson County, Cameron County still have a wind advisory until 6 p.m. as the winds will continue from the south to southeast at 25 to 35 with gusting to 40. We're seeing some of the gusts around 40 elsewhere as well. Right now gust of 40 in Brownsville and Harland and gust of 36 in Westlaco, 33 in Edinburgh. Sustained winds out of the south between 21 to 29 miles an hour. So please be careful when driving this afternoon even because of the windy weather. Also a very warm one, even hot one outside out west. 96 degrees Rio Grande City, 90 in Edinburgh, 91 in McAllen. We're in the upper 80s here at the station. 90 though in Raymondville and Harlingen and 87 in Brownsville, 85 in Port Isabel. Very quiet across the board on the radar. It'll stay that way for tonight. Here's your evening planner forecast. We'll have increasing clouds as the night goes on. And because of the breezy weather, we shouldn't be worried the fog for tonight for the overnight hours. 81 at 7 7 p.m. 76 at 9 p.m. and 74 degrees at 11 o'clock this evening. There is one front draped over central Texas. That's going to move north as a warm front behind it. That's where the cooler air is. So ahead of the front, wow, 96 in Laredo, but behind the front, only 50 in Dallas, Fort Worth, and 57 degrees in Abilene, out east, 81 in Longview. That front pushes off to the north. Another front comes in from the west, and this one is actually a pretty decent front for us by Wednesday. So. We have one more day of warm and breezy weather. That's tomorrow with high temperatures in the lower 90s. And then we're going to put in a slight chance for some spotty thunderstorms tomorrow night ahead of the front. No severe weather is expected, but there is about a 30% chance of some spotty thunderstorms tomorrow night. Behind that front, there is still a 40% chance of some leftover spotty showers Wednesday. But we're going to go from the lower 90s Tuesday into the lower 70s by Wednesday. That's for the high. So, yes, much, much cooler for Wednesday. If you like the cooler weather, enjoy it on Wednesday because afterwards the temperature Temperatures will start to warm up just in time for the end of the work week. That front moves back to the north as a warm front for Thursday and Friday. So just in time for Saturday, the highs return to the lower 90s. On the water, small craft advisory continues until at least 10 o'clock tonight. We'll have winds out of the south to southeast at 15 to 25 knots with some gusts. Bay waters are choppy. Seas are 4 to 8 feet. Your next tide is a low tide at 11.03 tonight. So for tonight, mostly cloudy skies late. It'll be breezy and mild. Low temperatures around 72. Then for tomorrow, Tomorrow, partly cloudy in the afternoon, clouds in the morning, but partly cloudy by the afternoon. High temperatures, lower 90s. We'll throw in a 30% chance of thunderstorms during the night. It should be dry tomorrow during the day, but a 30% chance of some nighttime spotty thunderstorms. Here's that seven day forecast. Look at that almost a 20 degree drop from Tuesday to Wednesday. 91 tomorrow, but only 72. 72 is the high temperature on Wednesday. Mostly cloudy skies with a 40% chance of some showers in the morning. So uh, some of you will want that light sweater or jacket, especially Wednesday morning and Thursday morning. Thursday morning's low temperatures are in the lower 60s. And then for Thursday, we're looking at mostly cloudy skies in the morning. Maybe some more sunshine for the afternoon. Just a 10% chance of a stray shower with highs in the lower 80s. Then we're back to the upper 80s on Friday. Highs back to 90 on Saturday, 92 on Sunday. Another front may come in by Saturday. Saturday, that's a very weak front. Then a third front may come in by Monday or Tuesday. But at this point, we're going to call for high temperatures to remain in the lower 90s Sunday and Monday. That's your first Warren 5 forecast. Back to you, Dina.